No more mistakes, mastering negative modal verbs. Hello, language learners. Welcome to another exciting episode in our series on English language learning. Today, we are going to deep dive into the world of negative modal verbs. Yes, you heard it right. We will explore the common negative modal verb forms and how to use them effectively in our everyday language. Before diving into the common forms, it's crucial to understand what negative modal verbs are. In English, we often use modal verbs to express ideas such as ability, possibility, necessity, and permission. When we want to express these ideas in the negative form, we use negative modal verbs. For example, when we want to express the inability to do something, we would say, I can't swim, not, I can swim. Notice the word can't, which is a negative modal verb. Let's now discuss some common negative modal verb forms. 1. Can't, cannot. We use this to express something we are not able to do or something that is not permitted. 2. For example, I can't run fast. Or, you cannot smoke here. 3. Shouldn't. We use this to give negative advice or say what is the right or wrong thing to do. 4. For example, you shouldn't drive if you feel tired. 5. Won't. We use this to say that someone refuses to do something or something is not going to happen. 6. For example, he won't help with the chores. Or, the car won't start. 7. Don't, doesn't have to. We use this to say something is not necessary. 8. For example, you don't have to pay for the tickets. Or, she doesn't have to work on weekends. Remember, the choice of negative modal verb depends on the idea you want to express. An interesting part of using negative modal verbs is forming questions. We usually flip the modal verb and subject's positions to form a question. For example, instead of, you shouldn't eat fast food, you can ask, shouldn't you avoid fast food? It's important to note that when using negative modal verbs in questions, the tone often suggests advice or a strong opinion. So, use these forms wisely. And that's a wrap for today's episode on negative modal verbs. We've learned what they are, their common forms, and how to form questions using them. Remember, practice is the key to mastering these. Try using these in your daily conversations to gain fluency. See you in our next episode, where we will continue our journey in learning English. Until then, keep practicing, and happy learning!